Now, you know, I, I started out just um, training friends and then it, you know, more and more people came and as I went on, I, you know, developed a client base and I eventually started my own business, No Pain Fitness. No Pain Fitness. Yes, indeed. That's a funny name to have in this. Hey, you um, know, I, I catch a lot of slack about the name, so I, I just throw it out there and use it as a tool. And I'm sure that you've heard major pain. I get that all the time. Okay, all right. All Thank the you very time. much. Um, let me, okay, so what is the biggest thing that you hear about when people want to lose weight? Because there are all the studies that come out, we're obese, we're overweight, we're out of shape, uh, yes. this is killing us. So what do you hear from your clients as far as getting rid of the extra pounds and getting in shape? The biggest thing I get from clients is the lack of opportunity in the time to get into the gym. Mm -hmm. Because most people think you need to go to the gym to stay fit. One of the big things in my program is bringing fitness to your office, bringing fitness to your home, taking fitness with you on the road, on business, or on vacation. Right. So the first segment we're going to do today is focusing on a lower body routine that we can take with us to the office, on mm -hmm. vacation, or at home. All we need is a chair. All we need is a chair. And this is supposed to be easy. Easy. We got, we got a lot of moms at home watching. We got some we have folks a lot who of really moms. want to stay in shape. We have it? a lot of people who work at home. Right. We have a lot of people who just can't get out of the office. So sometimes you need to take a little break. Okay. Take five minutes, get a little workout in, get the energy up, feel better, and then get back to and work. And mentally, it does help you, doesn't it? Absolutely. Okay. What are you Absolutely. going to show us today? What we're going to do today, using just a chair, we're going to do three basic exercises. Okay. The first one is called a chair squat. All right. You're going to show me this because you want me I'm to I'm going to, to show you this, along, and then right? we'll have you give it a shot. Okay. So with the chair squat, we're standing in front of the chair, feet shoulder width apart, hands on the hips. All right. Now we want to start with a slight bend in the knee, and we're just going to squat down, tapping the chair and then come up slow and easy. How many of these ideally should we do? Ideally, we want to start with 12 to 15, and we can always add more. The, okay. With exercise, the thing that I really try to promote, it's quality, not quantity. All right, and what is that? Let me try it, because uh, I'll be the judge on if this is And hard you, 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 you okay, can I'm do here, it with right, your David? shoes, yep. Okay, and then go there down. You go. Yep, now I want you to stand up nice and tall okay. with your torso, good. And right. up, and there up. you go. Now, when you come up, I want you not to fully extend in the knees, just okay. a slight bend. And this is working on? Primarily like, on the quad, some glutes. Because I can feel it. All right. There okay. you go. Yeah, and then, that's good. now, the key to any exercise, and the, the rule that I use is the gravity rule when, mm -hmm. with breathing, because that's one of the biggest pitfalls that people have right. is they don't know how to breathe properly. So I need to breathe on so the out? So the breathing is very easy. And you can use this same rule okay. for all exercises. As you're going toward the earth, uh -huh. you inhale. As you move away from the earth, you exhale. Okay. And if you can remember that simple rule, oh, you'll never go earth. wrong with your breathing. I'm done with that one because now I'm trembling. <laughs> what else are you going to show now us? Now the second, we're just going to turn our chair 90 degrees. Okay. We're going to do what's called a kickback. This is, women really love this one because it's great for the glutes. Oh my goodness. And I, I've never met a woman who does, wouldn't like to firm, raise, and tighten those talking glutes. talking about the bottom. Exactly. The derriere. All this right. time of the year, we're showing a little more skin, so we right. want to keep it nice and tight. Okay. We're going to put one hand on the chair for support, mm -hmm. one hand on the waist. Slight bend in the knee that's supporting on the supporting leg, and we're going to lift the other leg off the ground slightly. Okay. And we're just going to kick back. Slow and controlled. Now with this one, we want to focus on standing nice and tall, keeping the abs, the abs nice tight. and tight, okay. keeping the shoulders back. So I'll show you three quick reps here. One. And the same thing like the 12? Count. Exactly. Okay. 12 to 15 repetitions. Once again, it's quantity, not quali mm -hmm. or quality, not quantity. We want to focus on a slow, controlled movement. We're not jerking or kicking it up fast. And there's okay. a part B to that to work on the calf. The part B, an easy segue, is to starting in the same position. Mm -hmm. We're just coming up nice and tall on the tippy toes. And we can do that same 12 to 15 repetitions using the chair as support. So those, it, are, those are some quick things you could do at the office. Quick and easy, Okay. high impact. Mm -hmm. You can do it in your business attire. You right. can do it at home. You can take it in the hotel room. You pretty much, wherever you go, you want to take your fitness regimen with you. That's excellent. And we're calling these the... Fox 5 No Pain Fitness Tip of the Day. Get it right here on the new 11 o'clock show on Fox 5. Thanks, David. Thank you. Okay.